During lockdown, or in fact at any point in your life, you can feel demotivated, lost, and not sure where you're going. Now, I've spoken about goals on this channel already, and if you haven't seen that, well, you need to watch my videos. But I wanted to create this video to talk about it more, because they are pretty important. And more specifically, this video is on life goals. Now, in my opinion, a life goal is something to constantly strive for. It's your meaning, it's your purpose and you can decide what this is. It can be religious, it can be value-based, or it can just be completely random. Whatever it is, it just has to be important to you. Important to a point in which you're revolving your life around this decision, you're revolving every little different decision you're making. I really butchered that sentence. Oh wait, 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 before I start, subscribe. I must warn you, there's a bit of a cliche in coming, but my goal is just to help other people with their problems and make people happy. And I'm not trying to paint myself on a pedestal, right? However, it is the thing that drives me. It brings me happiness, it motivates me with my studies and with my work or with whatever I'm doing. And it's something that I want to revolve my life around. And hopefully I can do that. You know, revolve and cater my life to this goal, use my skill set and my knowledge to help people and to make the world a better place. And this goal was genuinely helped me whenever I felt lost or not sure what to do with my life or sometimes even a bit self-conscious. I've been aware that I have this goal and I can do everything I can to push towards it and to help other people. It's acted as a sort of anchor, so when I feel like I'm drifting, when I feel like I'm not really doing anything with my life, I can sort of think, ah, but I have helped a few people, hopefully. It's enabled me to stay motivated to keep pursuing this goal and keep improving and have that self-development that you need to achieve goals. This really sounds like I'm trying to paint myself out as a really good person. I promise I'm not trying to do that. I just am. And I would say to anyone who's feeling particularly lost in their life, just to sit down with yourself and ask yourself, well, what, what are you working for? What are you trying to achieve in your life? Whether it's providing an income for a future family, or whether it's making other people happy, or just making yourself happy, whatever it is, you just need to make sure you have a direction and you have something to strive for. Otherwise, how can you not feel lost? Whatever this goal is, start making decisions that cater your life around it. If you want to make new memories, go out and try new things, learn a new skill, learn to surf. As I've said in past videos, we strive for a purpose, we strive for a meaning. I don't know, back in the day that was just surviving, but now we don't need to do that. We can achieve a whole lot more than just surviving in a half ass job and just getting an income and going home watching TV and sleeping. Who even watches TV? I just don't think we should ever settle where we're in a position that we're not completely happy, where we're not feeling like we're achieving something. You don't want to end up in a position where you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going or what you're doing with your life. So just give yourself that. Ask yourself who you are, um, what you want and where you're going. You could be a boss man working at his own shop, you know, trying to build up a business. Or you can be someone like me who is not really planning anything, but is making memories and trying to make people happy with this channel. So again, subscribe. And that's not to say every single decision needs to be in pursuit of that goal, but it certainly needs to consider it. Like if you're trying to work your way up the, the corporate ladder, as they call it. Taking breaks and going on vacations is perfectly fine. Why did I say vacations? But for example, if it's an especially important period for that business, then maybe it's not a good idea to go then because you need to have that goal in mind of working up the corporate ladder. And to do that, you need to be there in the business when it's the most important. Sign me up for motivational talks. That's all I'm saying, I'm sick. And this goal has to be meaningful. You know, if it doesn't mean anything to you, why are you going to pursue it? Like why? If money doesn't mean anything to you, don't pursue money. If learning new things doesn't motivate you and you just want to be the best at what you can do now, that is fine. Do that. And I'm not saying don't try new things here, you know, take it easy. But if you are set on the goal, if it's something that truly drives you and truly brings you the utmost happiness, then start pursuing it. 
The danger is when you have a goal that is defined by social standards such as money or wealth, for example, they're really, really uncontrollable. I do think though, if you're just considering money and that is your life goal, you're not gonna feel particularly satisfied. You should think of the, the things you will do with the money and like buy a nice house to provide for your family. Just have some, something else, you know, a little, bit, a little bit more depth to you. Life goals are something we can utilize and we can consider in our lives to make us feel so much better, to make us feel like we're going somewhere. We have a need to feel like we're growing and developing constantly and life goals can give you that. And if you ever feel lost in your life, if you don't feel like you're going anywhere, that's okay. Just get yourself a free life goal today. That was a bar. I know this was a bit more of a traditional style of video. Hopefully I'm going to bring out some new bangers. That was so cringy. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, that's everything from me today. I know I've kind of repeated myself, but I really think something to strive for is so important for our mental health and for our development. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later. Goodbye.